For those of you who like a bit of science, this is going to spark your interest. The James Webb Telescope, which was launched a few months ago, is now headed to its final orbit. And unlike the Hubble Telescope, its predecessor, which was located relatively close to the Earth, this is going to be located several million miles away. I contacted a NASA ambassador, Mr. Barath Musaya, to explain this in more detail. So on Monday, NASA scientists and engineers are going to give its final correction burn, which will put into that orbit called L2 orbit. James Webb will be there in that orbit for the next 20 years or more and giving us beautiful pictures. This telescope is unique in many other ways too. Instead of one mirror, it has 18 that were unfolded in space after it took off. Not to mention it's a large sun shield to keep the glare from the sun off of these sensitive sensors on the telescope. To put in perspective, the sun facing side of this shield, the temperatures can get up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, while the cold side of it, the side where all the sensors are, will be around minus 388 degrees. Degrees. These factors, plus some of the most sensitive telescope equipment ever created, will allow us to look further back in time and further out into space than ever before. It may revolutionize our understanding of our evolution of the universe after Big Bang, how the galaxies were there. It may also look for the exoplanets, the planets and moons which are revolving around other stars. It can look those planets and moons and may give clues. Is there any where life on any other planets or moons? Hopefully we will get those answers. By the way, this whole project is a combination of NASA, the Canadian Space Agency and the European Space Agency working together to help advance the uh, field of astronomy here. And it's absolutely fantastic. Very interesting stuff. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News.